Hello friends and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? That's good to hear. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? Stretch your arms out like airplane wings. We'll fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle, big stretch out in front. Now take that circle up over your head. We'll stretch on this side, over to the other side, one last stretch, and now let's sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. Welcome to circle time. I hope you're having a great day so far. We have to do three things before we move on to the calendar and weather chart. First, turn on your listening ears. Next, we have to put on our thinking hats. Today, my thinking hat has a zipper underneath my chin. So I'm going to zip it up. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Can you show me how to do that? You're right. Boom, 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 boom. Now let me grab my pointing stick and we can go over the date together. Let's start off with the month, which is right up here. Do you remember what month it is? November. Today is November 16th. So let me move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was November 15th. And today is November 16th, and the year is 2021, but you can also say 2021. Let's see how many days we've had so far in the month of November. Take out your counting finger, give them a little stretch, and let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We've had 16 days so far in the month of November. And now it's time to sing the days of the week song. So let's hold up seven fingers like this for each one of the days of the week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have the days of the week to go over. So listen for the sound that the day starts with and you can tell me what the day is. Yesterday was M. Monday, the first day of the weekday. So that means that today is t Tuesday, and tomorrow will be w Wednesday. Let's sing today is Tuesday together before we go over the season. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Up at the top of the chart, we have the season. There are two ways to say this season. You can say that it's fall or autumn. And now let's go over the weather. But first, we need to sing the weather song together. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Today where I live, it's a mostly sunny day. When I look outside, the sky is mostly blue, but there are a few thin cirrus clouds in the sky. And my temperature chart is on light blue because it's chilly outside. Chilly, but mostly sunny. And what kind of weather do you have at your house? Take a peek outside and let me know what you see. 
Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Yesterday, we learned this new capital letter. Do you remember the sound that this letter makes? Let's do that together. X. What letter is this? X. This is a capital or uppercase X. X says X. So today I have something inside of the letter box and it ends with the letter X. X. Here's your first clue. This is a type of an animal. This animal is a male cow called a bull and it has two horns on its head. Do you know what another word for a male cow is? Let's see. This is an ox. So an ox is a type of a bull and it has two horns on its side of its head. Ox ends with the letter X, X. This is how you write an uppercase X, X. One more time. And here is the double digit number of the week. This is the number 25. When you write the number 25, you write two numbers. First you write the number two, and then you write the number five. Two, five, 25. Let's count to the number 25 together using the large bead frame. This is how you count to the number 25 using the large bead frame. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Two tens, five units, 25. Let's take a peek inside of the number box and see what I have to count today. Usually on Tuesdays, we count flowers, but there are no more flowers growing outside. So instead on Tuesdays, we are going to switch to counting pine cones. Let me gather them all up. And I think that I have too many to fit in lines on top of the box. So instead, I'm just going to make a big pile. And you can count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and one more makes 25. 25 pine cones. Look at this big pile. Yesterday we learned how to say brave in sign language. Do you want to show me how to do that? Let's do that together. Brave. Today's character strength is gratitude, which is just in time for a holiday that is coming up next week. When you show gratitude, it means that you notice the good things in your life and are thankful for what you have. You can show appreciation for the bigger things in life and also the small things. For example, you can be thankful for your family and also be thankful when someone shares a toy with you. For today's work, we are going to be making a gratuity tree. I'll show you how. First, let's go over the materials that you'll need for today's work. I have some colorful construction paper right here. I have a branch from a tree and I made sure that I found a branch that had some smaller branches coming off of it like this. And I'm just propping it up inside of this vase for now. You're also going to need a hole punch, 
a pen or a marker or anything to write with, a pair of scissors, and some yarn or any type of string. So let me show you how to make this gratuity tree. The first thing that I'm going to do is to take my pieces of colorful construction paper and I'm going to cut them out so that they resemble the shape of a leaf. You want to make sure that they are large enough to write on. So this is about a good size right here. This one is already oval shaped, but maybe I can just trim off a little bit on the sides like this to make it look more like a leaf. And let's do one more, make one more yellow leaf. So if you'd like to, your grown up can have these leaves already pre-cut for you, or your grown up can draw the leaves for you and then you can cut them out independently using the scissors. So the next thing that you're going to do once you have your autumn leaves ready is to take a hole punch and just punch one hole at the top of each leaf. Just like that. Next, once you have the holes in each leaf, you're going to think about something that you're thankful for. This is the most important part of today's work. So when I think of something that I'm thankful for, something that I show gratitude for, I can think of my family. So I'm going to write that down on my first leaf, family. If you are able to write your thoughts down independently, you can do that. If not, you can just tell a grown up what you're thankful for, and your grown up can write it on the leaf instead. So, right here, I have family. I am also thankful for being in good health. So, I'm going to write health. And I have many other things that I'm thankful for, but I only have one more leaf. So the last thing that I'm going to write for my gratuity tree is the home where I live. I'm very grateful that I have a home to live in. So I have those three things that I'm grateful for. And the last thing that I'm going to do is to cut three pieces of yarn and I'm going to just loop each piece of yarn through a hole and tie it up. Again friends, this is something that your grown-ups can help you with if you need a little bit of help tying a knot once you've looped it through the hole. So here's health. I'm definitely grateful to be in good health and I'm going to hang that first leaf on my gratuity tree. Next let's hang up family. Family is probably the biggest thing that I am thankful for. String that yarn through and tie it up into a little knot. See, maybe I'll put family over here. And the last thing that I'm thankful for is my home. So I'm going to loop that final string through, tie up one more little knot, and hang it up. And here's my gratuity tree. Now, the really great thing about making a gratuity tree is that you can put this in a special spot in your house, and anytime you think about something that you're grateful for, you can add a new thought. 
This can be done just by yourself, but it can also be opened up to your whole family. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Remember, the leaves on your gratuity tree may say something different from the leaves on my gratuity tree. And that's okay. That just means that we're thankful for different things. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give my video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. It's time to wave goodbye and sing together. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.